Number 1. Sydney Opera House, New South Wales Mention Sydney, Australia and most people think of the Opera House. Shaped like huge shells or billowing sails, this famous building on Sydney's Benelong Point graces the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is one of the world's great architectural icons. The location is stunning. Water surrounds the structure on three sides, and the Royal Botanic Gardens border it to the south. Danish architect, Jornutson won an international competition for its design but withdrew from the project after technical and financing problems. Construction was finally completed in 1973 at a cost 10 times the original budget. By this time, Hudson had left the country, never returning to see his magnificent creation. Today, you can enjoy a performance here, dine at one of the restaurants, or see the highlights of the Sydney Opera House on a guided tour. The structure encompasses theaters, studios, a concert hall, exhibition rooms, and a cinema. Touring the interior of the Sydney Opera House is rewarding, but its striking architecture is perhaps best appreciated from a distance. One of the best sites to photograph this top Sydney tourist attraction is Mrs. Macquarie's chair in the Royal Botanic Gardens, or you can hop aboard a harbour cruise or ferry and capture a photo from the water as you glide past. Currently, the Sydney Opera House is undergoing a 10-year, $275 million upgrade, but it will continue to operate during the restoration. Number 2. Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, Queensland you can't leave Australia without seeing the Great Barrier Reef. This World Heritage-listed natural wonder is one of the largest living structures on the planet. It's so vast, you can see it from outer space. For divers, snorkelers, island aficionados, and nature lovers, it's a bucket list destination. In 1975, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was established to protect its fragile ecosystems. These include more than 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continental islands, including the beautiful Whitsunday Group, 300 coral caves, and inshore mangrove islands. One of the seven wonders of the natural world, the park stretches for 2,300 kilometers along the state of Queensland, on Australia's east coast that's about the distance between Mexico and Vancouver. Not surprisingly, the Great Barrier Reef is one of the best places to visit in Australia for diving and snorkeling. The astounding array of marine life includes soft and hard corals, more than 1,600 species of tropical fish, sharks, dugongs, dolphins, turtles, rays, and giant clams. Prefer to stay dry. You can see the reef from underwater viewing stations and glass-bottom boats. Travelers have many options for visiting the Great Barrier Reef. You can cruise around the islands, hop aboard a sightseeing flight, take day trips to the islands, or snorkel and dive the reefs. On the mainland, the main launching points for tours are Cairns, Port Douglas, and Airlie Beach. Number 3. Great Ocean Road, Victoria Great Ocean Road is one of the world's top scenic drives. Built to provide employment during the Depression, the road stretches for 300 kilometers along Australia's rugged southeast coast, winding along plunging sea cliffs. It stretches from the surfing town of Torquay to the town of Allansford, near Wanambool. One of the top attractions of Great Ocean Road is Port Campbell National Park. This is where you can see the wind and wave sculpted rock formations known as the Twelve Apostles, London Bridge, the Arch, and Lockhart Gorge. From the air, these rock formations look like giant puzzle pieces adrift along the coast, lashed by the pounding surf of the Southern Ocean. You'll find plenty of rewarding things to do along Great Ocean Road. Stop by the Australian National Surfing Museum at Torquay, surf the famous swells at Bells Beach, linger in the seaside resort of Lorne, or go whale watching in Wanambool. Nature lovers will also enjoy exploring the eucalyptus forests, fern-filled rainforests, hiking trails, and waterfalls in Otway National Park.